see that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself, let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. My parents, my best friends, everyone in my life told me I was stupid. I dropped out of college for this shit. And everyone from A to Z told me, like, you're, you're fucking up, you shouldn't be doing that, it's not gonna work, you can't make money playing videos. And I, I kind of tuned them all out. I, I felt like I saw something that they didn't see, and it all worked out for me. So my advice would be, fuck what anybody thinks or says. If you feel it, if you really feel it, then run it. Live your life and make your mark. God puts you on this earth to do something significant. You're not supposed to be another person that lived and died and didn't do anything significant. You have a vision, you have an idea, you have a genius idea that's in your mind, that's brewing and it's orchestrating. You should understand this, that it was always gonna be your family and your friends that would be the first ones to try and talk you out of your vision and your big idea. That's why you're supposed to live your life. Focus on your intentions and do your thing. If I had paid attention to what people thought I was gonna do with my life and what my career path would be, I would not be Tyrese Gibson. Every multi-millionaire and every multi-billionaire in this world that are living on the top have all decided that I'm gonna commit myself to this career this vision, this goal, sports, training, education, no parties. They're gonna call you names. They're gonna say you're corny. They're gonna call you a square. They're gonna say that you're a weirdo because you don't fuck with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said that I have decided that I'm gonna create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and President Obama and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. 